have you ever seen or laid reinforcing mesh continuously through control joints? Then wondered, what happens when its steel mesh is in a concrete path and the joint is forced up and hinged? The short answer is all the mesh strands snap, one by one. We couldn't find any published results anywhere, so we did the test ourselves. Our testing regime was developed by RMIT University in Melbourne, Australia and used for all our independent trip stop tests, which are published on our website, Back With Movies. The test bed itself is 5 metres long by 1.5 metres wide by 0.9 high. This bath is 125 millimetres thick and the joints are spaced at 1.5 metres apart. We use centrally located SF72 mesh on bar chairs and 25 MPA 80 slump concrete, which was slump tested back with a written report from the concrete supplier Holsim. Witnessed by an independent engineer who was writing a detailed report, we found that the mesh reinforced path hinged and began cracking from the top to the base of the slab with the mesh stretching as soon as there was any uplift. The joints hinged on the base and the mesh continued to be stretched and thinned as it was subjected to more and more uplift. The first strand of mesh broke at just 40 millimetres of lift. Water could then get in, run down and attack the weakened and stretched mesh. All the mesh strands have completely snapped or failed at 62 millimetres of lift. Those pops that just happened before, that's probably... The, the Rio giving or something? Yeah, pulling, pulling. The open joint now relied on aggregate interlock, which won't, in the long term, transfer load. How long will various grades of mesh last before completely rusting out, as in an exposed situation like we have here? I just went a bit higher. Oh, it just dropped. This is what happened when some weight was applied to the non-lifted slab. A major spall and about another 10 millimetres drop onto the next level of aggregate. And this will fail later. Aggregate interlock does not transfer load. Our solution is tripped up which can easily handle a 108 mm lift, which is a 1 in 14 rise and a 1.5 space slab, with less than 5 mm of displacement. Mesh can't do this. See our website at tripstop.net for more info.